the Wisdom Project. It's basically how can you uh, address a very challenging issue in your life? Could be a relationship with your mom or your child or your teenager or a career change. How can you address, I call them wicked, a wicked problem that usually you think, okay, this is the way to go. And as soon as you start going this way, oh, no, 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 I didn't see this. So you, you are forced, the problem forces you to frame and reframe, frame and reframe. So that's the trick of the Wisdom Project. Choose something that is going to force you to frame and reframe, frame and reframe with the hope that once you solve that project, you will also be transformed. Your understanding of yourself and the world will be transformed. And that's what I'm doing right now. I mixed my 20 plus, 25 years of mindfulness meditation teacher teaching with my 25 plus years of organizational consultant. And that's what is called right now the Wisdom Project. And with a group that um, I was very lucky to find, you know, it's just that's why I guess I'm so joyful. Um, I, I, I'm just working weekly. We meet uh, four people. They are scholars. I don't consider my, you know, I learn a lot. I don't consider myself a scholar. I, I think I'm a practical person who is trying to use concepts from engineering uh, and psychology and organizational science to improve the way we work together. You know, that's yeah. that's my my thing. But these three other guys, you know, they publish papers and books and create new concepts. They are like a wiki. So I feel very, very fortunate that I'm working with them, even though it's going to be a year in May. And my me, as a former engineer, I just want to have goals and milestones and, you know, what's happening. So I have to control myself not to push the group. But, you know, having uh, the Wisdom Project, this past week I started three new cohorts, three new groups. These are um, um, already um, 15, uh, 14, 15, and 16 uh, in, um, regarding the number of cohorts that I have organized. Um, one person in, the, in those groups is a repeat offender, meaning that he's coming back. And I have people coming back even for four different sessions because it's like going to a meditation retreat center where you go every time you go, even though the practice is the same, you are new and you are different. It's like jumping in the river. The river is always different. So uh, the first time a person wanted to come for a second time, I said, no, Patricia, you know, it's the same. It's the noise. It's not the same. So now she has come four times. Wow. Yeah. So, and, and I see because the, I was telling my husband yesterday night, I am learning so much from the Wisdom Project. Every time I do it, I learn so much, so much. So even though the protocol is the same, the tools that people learn to use to solve their wicked problem are the same, uh, the experience is so new. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a, a guy years ago, I don't remember the year, but it was like, I don't know, many, many years ago, he wrote a book called Dialogue. Uh, his name was David Bond, and he was a, a physicist, and he ran groups, groups where people practice dialogue. <clears throat> and he said that um, you have three levels of learning. And this is not uh, educational theory. The educators are going to go, what? And the psychologists are going to go, what? But he was a physicist, therefore he's allowed. And he talked about three levels of learning. Learning one is when you learn something new. Okay, I learned that you are tall. I learned that you are kind. I learned that you are smart. But then learning two is when you reframe. That, that's what I try to do with the Wisdom Project. How do you reframe the project of the, developing a positive relationship with your rebellious teenager? You have to switch the way you see the problem. So that's learning two. And then for David Bond, learning three is when in the process of going through learning one and learning two, you end up being you changed. Mm. The learning three is 
changing the way you are in the world, changing the way you relate to the problem. And that's what I'm trying to do with the Wisdom Project right now. That's my, that's my goal. 